Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So, if you've been living under a rock, then you have missed out on one of the most exciting mergers of creativity that I have experienced in a long time. So, in case you don't know, I am a planner girl. I love planners. I have been using paper planners for years. And for the past six years, five years, I have been loyal to the Erin Condren Life Planner. But this year, Happy Planner converted me. I finally completely switched over and I am going to be a Happy Planner girl because they came out with, and I'm sorry about this, like, little orb reflection. Um, but they came out with these adorable planners designed with creators and makers in mind. It is called their Miss Maker Collection. And they have a, um, what I call a full size and then a mini size. And I'm not sure if I have the dimensions but I do have my trusty ruler here so it's like seven and a half maybe by oh gosh is that nine and a half or ten this is obviously just an estimate <laughs> um and this one is like five by seven ish so five by seven, like, and roughly eight by 10. So what I thought I'd do today is, since there are probably a few of you out there who just aren't familiar with the planner world, I thought I would um, do a walkthrough or a flip through of each of the planners so you can see how everything is laid out and get an idea of how you might use these um, to help plan your makes and your crafting, but also like your regular life too. Really, I'm just hoping to convert as many people as possible to planning because it is so fun. It is such a great additional creative outlet that also produces a ton of productivity for me. Like I would not be able to be as productive and efficient as I am without planning. So to start, um, we have these adorable coils. Can you see how there's like little hearts? for the holes <laughs> that's really adorable so um the mini has these like hot pink and i think they're plastic yeah i'm pretty sure they're plastic and the cover is super cute it has this kind of like collage of all of these like makery type things with like bunting banners and paint and scissors and um, here's a rotary cutter and actually fabric scissors, pins, washi tape, lots of fun stuff. Super cute. Oh, and our little sewing machine that says sew on it. Yay, love it. Um, okay, and so these are like laminated, like really heavy duty laminate. Like you can't bend it. It's not one of those bendable ones, but it's also not super hard either. Um, and so when you open it, you just have kind of a plain page here. I'm going to be experimenting with adhering some iron on vinyl. I get that it's plastic. I get that I have to be careful. So I want to try and embellish this somehow using my maker. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Stay tuned. But then you have your cover page and you can put this mini happy planner belongs to, and you can write your name. Um, and these are all, um, like, it's not cardstock. It's not super thick cardstock, but it's not like regular printer paper either. So I would recommend you being a little bit careful with the pens and markers that you choose to write in here because they could bleed through. Um, I'll do a separate plan with me video once we get closer to the beginning of the year so that you guys can see like all the stuff I use to plan and, and how I make it cute and pretty and fun. Okay, then we have a double spread um, annual calendar. We have 2019 and 2020, so you can plan out, you know, two full years or at least get a, a visual of two full years here. And then this is how each month is laid out in the mini. So we have our January 
kind of monthly overview page and you have your top priorities for the month. So you can list out four things that you think are your top priorities for the entire month. You also have a make do section where you can list out things you wanna make or things that you need to do. You have a special project with this little grid here so you can draw out your project. You can make a little croaky. You could um, take a picture like of a pattern that you wanted and stick that on here. Um, and then you also have celebrate so that you can keep track of birthdays, anniversaries, just important dates. And then they also have listed out the major U.S. holidays um, that are in here. And then we have each page, each monthly page with a tab is on a thicker piece of cardstock and it each has, they each have their own separate little design. So this one says, been there, pinned that. So cute. I think they're talking about Pinterest, but I'm looking at it like a sewing pin, you know, cause we're all sewists. Um, but anyways, so these are thicker and each month you can see is a different colored tab. So you can get through the, or get to the one you want, um, quickly and easily. And then for your monthly layout, you have, you know, the month that it is. And then this is like a dotted um, little section here. So you can use this to draw things out. You could use it to make like a list, like you could fill in, like make a little square and then write out a listed item. And then you have check boxes. So you can check them all off. Um, you have your, you know, your entire month here um, with the major holidays flagged um, with a little um, flag that matches the color here. And yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward monthly overview. Then each week is laid out the following way. This is what is called like a horizontal layout because each day is horizontal. It's not vertical like this. Um, and so what I really like about this and is actually kind of rare, not rare, but you have to look for it, um, is that your Saturday and Sunday are nice and big because as crafters and as humans, let's be real, um, we're doing stuff on the weekends. We don't need a little itty bitty space for the weekend. We need a full big space with just as much to do's as the rest of the week. But okay, so each day is highlighted um, a different color. And then you have this dotted section again. So you could either draw something out, you could, um, you know, just write out the major things that you need to do that day. But there's also these check boxes here. So you can use these, like if you're going to the food store and you need to remember what to buy, um, you could do it as a to-do list. You could mark your appointments and put little times on here. You could use these days however you want. And then at the end of the week, um, they have a little section for doodles. Um, so you could just use this, like, I don't know, either as you're like planning out your week, you know, sometimes when you're just, you need to like, just doodle to kind of like calm your mind to help you kind of, you know, get everything organized and think clearly and logically, you could use it for that. You could obviously draw out a project that you want. You could just, um, maybe write a quote here. Um, you could do a lot of stuff, anything you want with this section. And then there's also a thankful for, which is, I think is really nice every week to kind of be grateful for something. We can get so wrapped up in what's happening during the week that we forget to find something to be grateful for. So I really like that. So each week is the same. Some of them have these little quotes at the top. This one says, this isn't a mess, it's creative expression, which I really like. I think that's really cute. Um, so some of them have those and some of them don't. And then also like this section here doesn't have a thankful for, it's just plain. Um, and this one has a word of the week. So each week to week, it kind of changes up maybe what your, um, mindset is or just challenging you to focus on something different every week. And then here is the last week of the month. And this one just has like a cute little make do. You could even color that in if you're feeling up to it. <clears throat> a weekly highlight here. And then we're back to a monthly overview again, same layout as before. February is hot pink. So there's lots of hot pink accents, but also yellow. Um, and this cover says maker's gonna make, and then you've got all your hot pinks. <clears throat> and again, thankful for, word of the week. Uh-oh, I missed one. The plain one, the word of the week, 
the little like um kind of like graphic image okay you get it going through all of them are the same this cover is little like these are what the rings look like um with little hearts in the middle um and then here's march's month and then again with the weekly spreads this is what april's looks like i craft so hard i sweat glitter and can you see it's like foiled it's super pretty Foil is like, in the planner world, like the extra, extra touch. Usually it's much more expensive to get um, foil anything. Um, but that's really cute. There's April's layout. Here's May, which matches the front cover. <clears throat> um, June is create, be crafty. It's like all these frames. And again, it's foiled. Beautiful love that and then july is just kind of like a tone on tone been there pin that i just want to make cute things makers gonna make creativity is messy and i'm very creative so just lots of little quotes august has your scissors september has if you can't stand the mess get out of the craft room again it's foiled beautiful and October has happiness is handmade with this super cute, like Miss Maker. Like she is the representative of all of the makers out there. Um, and I got to say, she kind of looks like me. If I'm, I do love a top knot. You guys saw my headband DIY tutorial that I posted. Um, I don't really do the overalls though. So maybe from here up, she's me. <laughs> from here's down, she's somebody else. I don't know. And then this is November. I just want to make cute things, which should be a Taylor Swift song. And this one is creativity is messy and I'm very creative. It's very holiday-esque for December. These look like little ornaments to me. Super cute. And then at the very end of the year there's just a single notes page with this like rainbow kind of ombre effect really pretty and then the same inside cover as the front inside cover and then the back is just a repeat of our front so that is the mini and this is the full size so we're going to see a lot of similarities but a few differences as well which is why i wanted to do a flip through of both of them first of all the coil is still the plastic heart rings but they're gold um, which i think is a really nice play on this cover which is makers gonna make with all these kind of like doodly type of drawings and then when you open it up, you have your hot pink, same design, just a different color. This one's hot pink, same front cover page, same two page annual calendar. And then here are our monthly overviews. So it's the same, same blocks. Um, there is a few differences. So on this one, remember on the maker or the mini, um, had this little itty bitty celebrate section. This one gives you an entire box reasons to celebrate. So it's not necessarily holidays and anniversaries and birthdays and things like that. You could put those in there, but it's also just like reasons to celebrate, you know, things that you're happy about milestones that you're going to cross, you know, um, maybe just something that happened that you're just really really proud of but you still have your top priorities obviously bigger and the same thing with the special project like a larger section here and your make do list and then your holidays are listed out here so same um covers i believe well they might be a little bit different we'll fl no, well i don't know we'll flip through them and we'll see um and then here is your monthly spread so you have a notes section here and instead of this being dots it's dotted lines so more so for like checklists and note taking and then you have your holidays marked but not with a flag so this one is like a little bit cleaner of a look with less color even the um header of the month is a little cleaner than um the mini the mini has this actual like flag um, and this is kind of just a little bit more plain, uh, probably because you can do a lot more inside the squares with stickers and markers and different colors. And so 
you know, they wanted to keep it nice and plain. So those things jumped off the page better. Okay. So this is our weekly view. So we have this week's priorities and this is a grid. So again, you could make a checklist for the priorities or you could just write them out or you could use this as a section to draw things if you wanted. Um, I've also seen people make like goal trackers where you would do like like a hydration section and then you'd have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday in each of these little boxes and then you like for your water, each glass of water that you drink is another square and you would color it in so you'd have like this bar graph at the end of the week showing how you stay hydrated. Um, that's a fun kind of unique idea that you could do to track goals. Um, then you have your daily doodles and bright ideas. So each day gets its own doodling section. Each day gets its own to do section with a list here and then its own what they call plan on it section. And this is a vertical layout because all the days are marked at the top and your to do list for that day falls vertically below that. Um, so that's how this is spread out. Um, I will say that for a maker and a creative person, this does make a lot of sense. I'm not so sure how I'm going to use the plan on it section yet. Um, typically in my Erin Condren planners, I would put things like, um, like television shows that I wanted to watch or I would meal plan. So I guess this section would still kind of fit into that vein where you would put maybe your appointments throughout the day with the times um, and then you could meal plan, you could put your workout in there, you could put, you know, television show or if you needed to do laundry that day, you know, any of those kinds of like little daily tasks you maybe I would put in this section here separate from a to do. Uh, this week's goal is also really helpful and then there's also a little uh, quote I craft so hard I sweat glitter is right here. So and day to day the only thing that changes is now there's not a quote here. Everything else is the same. And then they've added one here. This one says, in a perfect world, paper and fabric are free. Glitter never makes a mess. Chocolate makes you thin. And there's no such thing as a craft fail. That would be actually a perfect, a perfect world, right? So it looks like they're just alternating between having a quote and not having a quote at the bottom. But everything else is the same. This little bit changes too over here. All right, and now we are into February, which looks the same as um, January's. This this little cover changes. I will say too, I feel like the paper for the um, yeah, this is a little bit thicker. Well, maybe it's the same. Actually, it feels the same now. Never mind. Okay, so here's what February looks like. February's cover. Same deal, different colors there. And then here are your weeks. The exact same alternating between having a quote and not having a quote. And here's March's covers, the buttons with, or the rings with a heart. And April is the um, foiled, I craft so hard I sweat glitter. May is the cover from the mini. So cute. June are all those little um, framed quotes. So cute. This is the one with all the like tone on tone quotes. Queen of the craft room. <laughs> August is your scissors. September is, if you can't stand the mess, get out of the uh, craft room. October is our Miss Maker. Look, she's holding the little planner. So cute. Um, November is, I just want to make cute things. And I bet December is that holiday one. Yeah. Creativity is messy and I'm very creative. Okay, and then bonus pages at the end of the full size one are a section they're calling extras. And you can see that once December and January end, 
Then you get this kind of, again, with the ombre rainbow, it's gorgeous, um, grid paper. Then you get, um, this is just a cover for the extras that's similar to the, to the inside front and back covers. It's just the rainbow. And then you get all of these project pages. Now this is super exciting for someone who likes to stay organized. They really have thought of everything. So you can title your project, you give it a start date and an end date, and then you also set a budget. I don't know that I've ever budgeted a craft project before, but it is a really good idea to help keep everything kind of organized or financially organized because you know how you can kind of get an idea and then you go nuts and then before you know it, like you've spent three times as much as it would have cost you to just go buy it. Um, and then you um, mark or you list out all the supplies you have on hand. You list out all the supplies you need to purchase, which this is awesome because how many times do you go to the um, fabric store and you're like, oh shoot, I don't remember if I have a zipper or I don't remember if I have snaps or whatever um, kind of notion that you need. You can never remember if you have it at home or not. So this um, will help you kind of force you to go check your supplies on hand and then list out just the things you need to buy, um, which I think would help keep costs down and keep you from buying things redundantly. And then you mark how much it costs. And then there, here's a grid of details. Details can be drawn out like a specific, you know, type of stitch you want to do or um, a, a, detail with like the cuffs or the buttons or like if you were going to do some embroidery on it or anything like that can be listed here or drawn here and then you have your inspiration and resources so if you've seen somebody's blog or I'm just saying maybe an inside the hem vlog and you wanted to mark down what that video was or um, a magazine or anything like that you can list those here and then you have your sketches and ideas which is the dotted grid and then you have details, so little things that you want to remember about the project. So these pages, there must be, well, look, that's even more, even more different. So once you get past this first one, then you have a different kind of project page. Okay, two versions. This one, you name your project, and then you have your photos, your vision, or your sketches that you can put here. And then project notes. So this is much more of like a basic kind of idea. And then when you are ready to make it, maybe you go on to the more specific. I might use these for two different ways depending on what the project is. Like if I'm doing a sew along or something very detailed or something that I'm kind of like making up on my own, like maybe a pattern hack or something like that might go here. And then this is just like maybe some ready to wear inspiration and just some things I need to remember about that. But there are all these pages. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe eight. Maybe eight different versions of those. Um, so not one for every month. Well, I mean, if you figure this is one and this is two, then there's 16 of them. So it depends on how you want to use them. But um, so depending on how you use them, either one per month with a couple of extra, which I mean, you're not really planning that many elaborate projects throughout the year anyway. So that's a good amount, I think. That's a reasonable amount. Um, okay, so then you have your inside back cover and then you have your back back, um, which is also very plain. You could Again, maybe try and use a Cricut um, iron-on or maybe do some photos or there's lots of different options that you can do with this little guy here. So those are our Miss Maker planners. These are only available at Joanne. From what I can tell, they're only available in store. Also, from what I can tell, they're, they, are, they keep selling out and replacing, selling out and replacing. I had no problem finding these actual planners there are a ton of Miss Maker specific accessories that I am having a hard time getting my hands on. So I will keep checking back on my Joanne when I'm able to get those, specifically the sticker books is what I'm looking for. Um, I will do a plan with me where I show you how I'm going to use these 
pages here how I decorate my monthly view and my weekly view so you can get an idea of practically how to use these and um, you know how you can incorporate them into your everyday life so let me know if you're a planner what you think of these if you're not a planner if you could be converted um, chat about it in the comments and I want to see what everyone thinks of this concept of having a you know crafting maker specific uh, planner that you can also incorporate your regular life into. But until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye!